Hello ladies. All right, I'm hopping on here a little bit early because I've been shooting some TV segments and we wrapped up uh, ahead of schedule and I wanna go test drive some cars. So I figured I'd get this um, up here for you all to check out since I know a lot of you guys are watching it on replay. Um, it doesn't really matter what time I'm on here. So uh, let's crank out the salad. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make my baella salad. Um, and basically it's a chickpea salad. And I love it because it's really great for prepping ahead. So if you have a really busy week coming up, I always like to prep one or two things that I can kind of grab and go. Um, and I like to actually put this in mason jars. And that way, literally, I can just grab it, take a spoon or a fork in the car with me, and eat it on the run. So it's a really, really good one to know how to do. Um, it makes a really good side dish. So if you aren't vegetarian and you want a full meal with you know, some chicken or some steak or some pork, you can just add that on. Of course, a healthy passion. Um, you can track everything really easy in MyFitnessPal. So this is one of those recipes that um, you put in a code and you can track all the ingredients. There's no typing a million different things in. So uh, it makes it really, really easy and really delicious and simple. So I'm gonna show you guys how it's made. Um, so I'm gonna pull up the rest on Healthy Passion. Okay, so this is what it is. This is what it looks like. So it's basically, and I'll post the recipe below. Um, I'll post all the ingredients. It makes two servings, 15 minutes. So we have lemon, grape tomatoes, sun dried tomatoes, jalapeno, shallot, um, garlic, and sorry I'm shaking. I've had two of these today. It's, I didn't sleep well and I had a really busy day. So um, <laughs> some basil, some chickpeas, um, and then for the pantry items, we've got olive oil, Celtic salt, black pepper, and apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna flip this around and try to prop you all up on here. While I cook. So one tip I do is each week I kind of look at my week and I figure out how much time I have um, to cook each night and that's kind of how I choose my recipes for the week. And then I always pick one or two dishes. So typically a low carb and a regular macro day dish. Let's move this up a little so it's not you know, staring at my boobs. Um, but I like to pick a low carb and a regular macro day recipe that I just prep ahead, especially for lunch because I don't know about you all, but middle of the day is when my day is crazy. There's always Somebody needs my attention. Um, something pops up unexpected. Like today I got done shooting and I've got to um, get to another meeting and I want to try to squeeze in some test driving cars in between. So um, it's always nice to have lunch just kind of taken care of. So because of Healthy Passion, all the recipes make two portions. Typically I'll do two and then I have four lunches for the week. And then the fifth day I, I often have leftovers or I have a meeting um, where I'm out or something but I always pick a, a low carb and a regular macro and that, that keeps me pretty busy. Okay, so the first thing I've got is my shallot and I'm just kind of finely chopping it up here. And I like working with shallot as opposed to onion because you don't have a lot of waste. So sometimes you'll cut an onion and you use a quarter of it and then you put it in the fridge and you completely forget about it and it ends up going to waste. So I choose shallot most of the time. It's also a nice mild flavor. So I really love it because it's not super strong raw onion. We've also got a garlic clove here. And the garlic's gonna add a nice flavor, but again, we're just using one small clove so it's not overpowering. And I'm gonna finally chop this. So in 99% of my recipes for Healthy Passion, you'll see where I'm doing thinly sliced garlic, kind of like I've done here. There's a very rare occasion where I'll mince it. This is one of those rare occasions. I'm just gonna run my knife back through it again. Now this one's fun, like I mentioned, as a side dish. Um, it's also really good. I don't know how I figured this out, but with like tortilla chips. So if you need like a healthy um, dish to take to a party, take this and some tortilla chips and it's really fun. All right, so garlic goes in. Next thing I'm gonna do is some basil. And I typically would use a lot more basil, but I just bought a new basil plant and I didn't wanna kill it. So um, this is about half the basil that I would typically use in this. But again, adapt, use what you have on hand. Next thing is some sun-dried tomatoes. So these are gonna add a really nice chew, a nice rich flavor. If you can find the ones in oil, those are my personal favorite, but these are just the really nice dried ones. And this will add good salt too. So sometimes if you see the sodium's high in recipes, that's because of the sun-dried tomatoes, just use a little bit less um, salt. All right, so those are gonna go in. Got a little serrano chili, so typically the recipe calls for jalapeno, but um, Whole Foods didn't have any, so I'm using serrano instead. Also make sure you remove the seeds, that's where all the heat is. If you like it really spicy, leave them. 
but I know a lot of people don't. So I'm gonna remove them. And then you just wanna take it and cut little strips here, kind of like this. And that'll give you little pops of heat. And I also love the raw pepper in here. It adds a nice little crunch too. All right, so that is all nice and chopped. So basically this is just assembly. No cooking required here. And I love picking one or two dishes like that each week because it really does take a lot of the pressure off of having to get out a bunch of stuff and having major cleanups. Then we're just gonna take some cherry tomatoes and cut them in half. And these are really good. Um, this dish is really good when tomatoes are in season in the summertime because the tomatoes will have a lot more flavor. So this time of year it's good, but just wait until you can get fresh tomatoes from your farmer's market. So good. And again, I would probably double this if I was making it because like I mentioned, it stores really well in the refrigerator and you can just throw it in some mason jars. And um, I like to buy the little mason jars too sometimes. And you can divide this even into four portions and have it as a snack. If you're tracking in MyFitnessPal with a healthy passion, so say you divide this into four portions, uh, you're just going to track a half of a portion because each healthy passion recipe makes two portions. So in MyFitnessPal, you'll just put a half of a portion, and again, it makes it really, really easy to track. My mission with a healthy passion is to give you guys real food macro recipes so you can track using a code instead of having to sit there and weigh and measure all of your food. Okay, so tomatoes are in. Oops, I just threw that one back in the container. All right, so I have tomatoes. I'll show you guys what I've got going on in here. You can see, really simple, the garlic, the tomato, the serrano, the sun-dried tomato, the shallot. Now we're going to add our chickpeas, and I've just drained them and rinsed them over here. And I want to show you guys the chickpeas I'm using. So the recipe calls for a can, but I wasn't sure if I had a can opener, so I bought this little box, and you can just kind of cut or tear. Um, if you guys travel a lot, I love to buy these and I'll just rinse it in the sink and kind of shut it and pour it out. And it makes like a really good snack because it's only 110 calories, three portions. So this will last like a day or two. Um, and it makes a really good, they have all different beans like this, but um, it makes it really nice for traveling because you just pack it in your, in your luggage and you've got a really healthy snack. And I'll just take little baggies and divide them up into portions and grab them and go. So a little tip. So we're gonna mix those chickpeas in and then that's it. So we're just gonna make the dressing now. So I've got a lemon and I'm gonna use my little zester and just do lemon zest. Get all that lemony flavor in there. And this salad's so fresh and so light. Honestly, it'd be really good with like a piece of grilled fish or a steak. And if I was doing a steak, I'd actually do like a flat iron steak and then serve this right on over top. So possibilities are endless, but I think you guys are gonna love this one. And I honestly don't know how to pronounce it right, but I call it baila salad. It's a Mediterranean salad. Um, I can't remember where I had it. I think I went to this little tapas restaurant and they served it kind of as a, a little tapas dish. So it was a real small dish and we got it first before dinner and I just fell in love with the flavors. Okay, we've got some lemon juice. <laughs> Try to make it smell good in here. <laughs> All right, and then a little bit of olive oil goes in there next. And that is it. And the last ingredient I've got, um, a little apple cider vinegar. That's just gonna add a splash of acidity to balance that lemon juice out. A little tang. All right, so that's gonna go in there. And then I'm just gonna season it up with some salt. Some black pepper. Hi, Casey. <laughs> All right, so I'm using Celtic salt. If you guys have not tried that before, it is the best. It's of course uh, trace mineral rich salt out of France, loaded with trace minerals, which are really good for our bodies because our bodies need sodium. But a lot of times, table salts and things like that are stripped of all the minerals that our bodies require. So we take in that sodium and we don't know what to do with it. So we just store it. With Celtic salt or Himalayan salt or any of your sea salt, you're getting a good balance of minerals. All right, so lots of black pepper. Lots of Celtic salt, and I love Celtic salt. I'll show you guys here what it looks like. But I love it because it's so coarse. You're actually gonna get these little bursts of salt flavor in your food instead of the salt getting lost. You can actually use a little bit less because it is so flavorful and rich. Okay, so that is it, you guys. I'm gonna show you what it looks like.
it looks like. It's really pretty. And like I said, I would have added more basil. I just didn't want to kill my basil plant the first day I brought it home. Uh, but you could even throw some spinach in here. I would serve this over a salad too as well. Um, so the, the possibilities are really endless, but make this, see what you guys think. Tell me how you guys use it. Um, like I mentioned, great for grab and go. I'm gonna give it a little taste, make sure it's seasoned up here perfectly, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into mason jars so I have lunch for the next two days because this is regular macro day in term boot camp right now. So, um, well, not today, but tomorrow and Saturday. So I could use a good, good snack. Gosh, I'm so bad at eating on camera. Mmm. You get that little bit of heat from that jalapeno or serrano. And kind of that salty, chewy flavor from those sun dried tomatoes. Mmm. So good. So good. Okay. I'm gonna hop off here so I can get a few things done. Go test drive a car. I'd love for you guys to make this. See what y'all think. Um, comment below if you guys have any suggestions of what you want to learn next week um so far what seems to work is i just look at my schedule for the week and figure out when i can hop on but like i mentioned i'm going to try to do this every week for you guys just to give you some inspiration show you cooking doesn't have to be hard um, i notice a lot of you guys when you join the group you tell me the biggest struggle is cooking or finding what to make or finding what to eat so hopefully between this and a healthy passion you guys can really find some simple solutions to stick to that healthy lifestyle so hope you guys have an awesome thursday and um i will post the recipe here in a minute and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.